Hello and welcome to Psychonauts 2. So, I have been waiting for this game for quite a while actually. Um, you know, like most people. But like, I played Psychonauts the first game like a long time ago. I don't even know when. It's like probably, I guess 10 years ago maybe or something? I don't know. But it's like, yeah, it's definitely a, a game that was, you know, uh, stuck out in my mind and uh, and you know, I wanted a sequel like many people and well it happened and it's finally here. Um, so full disclosure, I've actually played a little bit of it. <laughs> I was like, I want to play this. So you know, I played it on my Xbox One. Uh, but I was like, wait, why don't I play it on PC because it's on Xbox Game Pass, right? Days ago, so yeah. Motto, the grand head of the Psychonauts, Plot time. With my help, the Psychonauts rescued Truman from the underwater lair of Dr. Lobato. But trust me, there's no way Lobato is working alone. Today, we're on a mission. Find out who hired Dr. Lobato to kidnap Truman Zanotto. My name is Raz. And today is my first official day on the job. We managed to raise profits the nine hundred percent this quarter. That's right. Thank you. And that brings us to our next topic. Uh, Sasha, still have the talking turtle? Maury. Sorry, I just like the clapping. It's now time to give out the award for Employee of the Year. The prize for this year's award is an all-expenses-paid tropical vacation. Ooh! Oh, I hope it's me! The winner of this award may be one of our newest members, but he's also one of our most improved. Congratulations to... Caligosto Loboto! What? Way to go, Cal! You're gonna love this vacation package. I'm jealous. I... I've never won anything. I've been on a vacation. I don't have to go on a boat, do I? No, darling. Woo. All you need to do is get this vacation request approved by your supervisor. What? Just a formality. You just need to get this form signed by your boss. My boss? Yes, darling. Or you could just tell us who your boss is, and we could... No! Maybe he doesn't want this tropical vacation after all. Look back! I want it! I'm employee of the year! Yes, you are, darling. Now off you go. Get that form signed by your boss. The person who hired you. The person you work for. Okay. Hurry up! Or I take that vacation myself. Rasputin? I'm on him. Keep up with him, Raz, and he'll lead you straight to his boss. Alright, that was a long cutscene. I kind of forgot that. Um, yeah. Uh, so. Uh, I played a decent amount of the tutorial and like a little bit for it, I think. Like, I don't really know uh, where I was when I stopped, but like, uh, I, I played like an hour or so. 
So I, I know a little bit. Um, anyway, let's talk to these people. Am I right? Sorry, can't talk. It's no meetings Monday. Huh. So how long have you worked here? I have worked here from one to three years. Hmm. Why am I talking to you? I need to follow Lobato. I am fairly compensated for my work. Really? Uh, also, um, I am running the game on very high. Uh, I think there was a little stutter before, but I think it, it's running fine. I Maybe I'll have to change that, because I don't know if my PC can handle very high. It's getting a little right. old now. And this game is brand new. You guys stay here. I'm on it. I am a typical Psychonauts employee. Huh? Okay. Do you know where the boss's office is? My boss is tough but fair. Well, good for you, I guess. So, yeah, it's been a while since I've played it, uh, the game. Um, I, 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 you know, I remember most of the characters. I don't remember their names exactly, but like, you know, uh, her, I remember, and, and this guy, and, you know, the, 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 the kind of uh, military-like guy. Be careful, darling. That guy who looks like a potato. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and, and her, yeah, Lily. Like that's Vaz's love interest, I think. It's, it's been a while. I watched the playthrough like a year or two ago, so I know some things a little bit. But yeah. So. Also, yeah. Okay, yeah. I couldn't run before. I just was that speed. In case you're wondering. Think he suspects anything? It's one of those tutorials where they don't let you do anything. I can't jump, I can't attack, I can't do anything. What kind of computer they give you? Raz, move it. Check. So I'm wasting so, time. What are they paying you? No mission. Okay. The character designs in this series. I guess, yeah, I guess it's the series now. Um it, it's something. They definitely are interesting looking characters, I can't deny that. Um, but yeah, it's like got a lot of personality and strangeness in general. So I like. Oh, yep. Uh -oh. Cut. I think he suspects something. He's taking countermeasures. Just remember your basic braining, soldier. Right. Basic braining. That's why that's what you call it. So you can punch. Do some punches with your psychic powers. Because, you know, it's a psychic. Thing. You can jump and do this, like in the last game, but it's a little different this game, I think, as we'll see later on uh, from the tutorial. It seems like the combat is a little bit different now, at least as I don't remember it being like it is in the first game. Yeah, it's a little gross this first level actually, a lot of tooth and gums and stuff, like it's kinda kinda nasty. For me? Well, come and get me. Okay, this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> this was kinda fun to last time the first time I saw this. Kinda unfortunate, but well. Yeah. This is so cool. I like this a lot. Like, it's such a fun little thing in the tutorial to do this. You're not supposed to walk that way. You don't say. Um, like, yeah, I was like, you know, I was like, I'm gonna play this on my own, not on as a let's play or anything, because I didn't know it was on PC. And I was like, actually, you know what? Uh, be because, you know, the game I was playing, Ageless, is, is kind of weird and glitchy right now, and I'm like, not sure if I can actually continue it. I was like, I might as well play this, and, uh, because it just came out, you know? Oh, that's some lag. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to change something here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what would do best for lag? I guess I could put it on high. I mean, 
let's put it on high instead. I don't know if I need to reset the game or anything. I think the game still looks fine. I mean, it's a stylized game, so, you know, graphically, doesn't matter too much. Before the procedure, it's very important that we clean out your dentist hat. You don't want any dirty. Go away! Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how long I'll go today. I kind of would like to get to where I was before, but I don't know if I can get there in time. I'm still like, hmm. Uh, my computer is not up to date, I think. I mean, it's weird because it runs fine most of the time. I don't know. And I may maybe I need to reset the game for that, those effects to take place. That could be, I don't know. Uh, I should be able to run it. Like, I, I use, you know, that site. Can you run it? And it said I could run it fine. Not perfect, but fine. So, I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, computers. Uh, yeah, figments. Yep. Collect them. Uh, whoop. So, there's 100 in each, but you only need 80. So, you can miss a few, I think. Yeah, in a second. Lots of figments of Roboto's imagination in here. When you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. After you get me out from under this tooth. I can't lift that tooth. There's a door up there. We just need to make some sort of ladder or stairs out of here. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know if I can get to where I want to get to today, because it did soldier, take like an hour to get there. And I want these to be, you know, as short as I can. But also, I kind of want to get back to the point I was, you know, when I first played. So yeah, telekinesis. Pick up objects and film. That's basically it. <laughs> I thought the big tooth was upsetting. Well, it soldier through, Private. Unzip that dental door. That's kind of gross. <laughs> like yeah, this this first level is pretty gross. Um. Good job, soldier. What's that light? Uh oh. Zip it back up again. Zip it. Ah. Yeah. Now that your cap is clean, let's check out those choppers. Hmm. If I didn't know better, I'd swear this place had gremlins. No problem. I'm sure I can do this in the dark. Uh. Scary. <laughs> I'm not a super fan of dentists, to be honest. Coach, uh, this room is definitely not in Sasha's plan. In fact, I think it's a trap. Oh, sensor, uh, these guys. Why the last game too? Like one of the more common enemies. Live in your mind and stamp out things that don't belong. Like us. You handle this one. I'll find a way out. I mean, I guess in case you never, you know, play Psychonauts, we're inside a mine right now. <laughs> but it's just not a real place, technically. I mean, it, still though, psychic powers make everything weird. So yeah, uh, so I, I'm pretty sure you couldn't like target guys and like, you know, do do this and like, I think that's well, not a thing the last game, so the combat feels Quite different from what I remember, but it also has been a bit, so maybe it's not. It definitely feels better, I feel like. I feel like the first game was pretty simple. This is a little more complex, actually, from what I've played so far. Uh, brains! It's itself. <laughs> it's it's pretty much itself. Got quite a bit of health, actually. You can take a few hits. I don't know how, how hard the game is gonna be. Like, the first game was fairly easy from what I remember, like it was, you know, you know, it's one of those collect fun kind of things as well, a little bit. Um, so, you know, it's more about, like, the collecting, <laughs> obviously. Um, memory vaults. Some mice try to protect themselves by locking memories away in vaults, chase them down and bust them open to reveal the repressed memories inside. Yeah, so, similar elements to the first game. Obviously. That's one of Dr. Lovato's balls. There we go. Uh, okay. Enchant... Enchant... Enhancement onto the scene, not enchantment. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Alright. Kind of map. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> Weird fish people. Okay. And deep playing poker. <laughs> I don't really know what that's all about, but okay. Yeah, it's a strange, strange world and a strange game in general. But I, I like it. It's it's like that's really nothing like Psychonauts in terms of you know tone and style and you know uh, like I I saw reviews and they were like 80s and 90s so like I'm I'm pretty stoked to play this. Like I really was hoping it was gonna be good and I was like kind of scared because you know it's maybe about double fine. And uh, we have kind of a reputation for being hit and miss. Like uh, some of the games are pretty interesting and unique and obviously strange, but not all of them are good necessarily. <laughs> so yeah, but this one seems to be good. Like they worked, you know, a long time on it, so definitely put effort into it so far from what I've seen. And yeah, so yeah, we could do that and we did the duffel bag. Um, just making sure I don't miss anything. Because I think I missed a few of those um, pigments before when I was playing, because, you know, I was learning everything. I think I saw everything. I think so. And yeah, let's uh, move on, I guess. Coach, is this normal? Do Sasha's mental scenarios usually break down like this? Never! There's something screwy going on in this brain. The sooner we get out of it, the better. Yeah, that is so gross. <laughs> yeah, if you don't like, you know, thief and Looks like such. Looks sort of conference room in here. Rasputin, is that you? I need. I'm coming, Sasha. This one is pretty funny. You can read it on your own. You already did. Kind of little funny thing. Yeah, there's a lot of details here, and I I would like to look around, but also I want to get back to where I was. <clears throat> you know, I already saw most of it, so, you know, for me it's fine, but, you know, sure, people would like to see that. Here's the hat box tag. Uh, a trap. It's a trap. Lovato has oof. I won't let them eat you, Sasha. So thank you, Rescue. Please, let's get clear of this aggressive uvula. So you can shoot. How That's not a thing. breaking through the office construct? He couldn't be doing this on his own. He must be getting help from someone even more sinister. Get ready, Rasputin. Yeah, so you can shoot with your mind. But you can only like shoot three shots before you gotta be charged. You can see the meter in the bottom uh, right. Forward, uh. Uh, Sasha! I ooh, I've got the situation on our control. Ah, just find us a way out of here quickly. Yeah, don't bother with them little mooks. You want to go for the gold? You gotta grab the big boys. <laughs> so, yeah. These were like, like what? <laughs> Mafia chief? Is that what's going on? Like, very odd. Like, I don't even, I don't understand, but. <laughs> Kind of funny, like you know, the human in, in these games is like, you know, it's kind of weird. It's like not not all of it is you know hilarious by any means, but it definitely is something. Yeah, I don't get, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe there's a joke in there. I don't really get. It's it's just the mafia chief. Like there must be something I don't get, but it's it's something. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, so far the game seems to play fine. Like, it's weird. Like, there's this occasional hiccup, but then it's fine. I don't know. Hopefully, it's gonna run fine from now on, though. Oh no, not back in the trap. Trap? Coach? Coach, where'd he go? Oh, 
Well, that's a good sign. What is it? That is a regret. If Lobato has regrets, then maybe there's a way we can still get to him. Let's get out of here and find Lobato. Uh, Sasha? Are regrets dangerous? Oh yes, extremely. Take care of that one, will you, while I find an exit. I like how it, you know, cutscene plays into the actual game. Modern games are so cool that you can do things like that, like, it's, it's so nice, like, that's really cool. So, yeah, these things, uh, you can grab the, the weights. I didn't grab the weight there. That's fine, whatever. Uh, yeah, if you grab the weight, it'd be, it'd be pretty easy to deal with, I, I found out. Otherwise, it's kind of annoying, actually. Well, uh, yeah. Maybe we can dodge with the circle or B button. Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe dealing with, with you first is ideal. Can't really. I can shoot you in the air, that's right. Can't really attack much in the air, though. Unfortunately, I can't find a way out of here anywhere. Uh, Sasha? How long has that golden door been there? Golden what? Did somebody say gold? Frankie, here's a chance for revenge! Oh, not these guys. I'll keep looking. So, like, I'm still, you know, pretty rusty at the combat, and I don't know if I t I'm just really bad, but I'm not really, you know, there's, there's, there's some kind of... They're shooting at us! Frankie! Frankie? Oh no! Uh, there's some kind of, what do we say, like, method to the, to the combat. It's kind of unusual. You gotta get used to it. You see what you can find through that door. I'm going to stay here and attempt to repair my construct. I don't think there's anything new to find here, probably, so let's just go. Oh, this is not getting any better. Raz! Is that you? Come down here! Lily, I'm coming! Oh, you took damage from that apparently. Last time I avoided that, I wasn't sure if I actually needed to avoid that, but yeah. Apparently it's like damage if you hit that. Good to know. Still got that water phobia, huh? It's not a phobia, it's a curse. Back in Grulovia, my whole family was cursed to die in water, and- Yeah, yeah, super sad. Look at these posters! I think someone else planted these in Lobato's mind to intimidate! And make sure he didn't tell us who hired him to kidnap your dad. Let's get rid of them. Maybe it'll help. Help me burn these posters, Raz. You had a lot of, you know, tools actually early on, interestingly. Ooh, looks like you found an even bigger room. I'm gonna catch up to Lobato. I don't think we need to burn all of them. Actually. Here's something fun. Well, I guess we gotta find a new girlfriend. <laughs> I actually don't know if the uh, girlfriend or boyfriend right now, but... Well, I, I think at least there was something about that last game, right? Yeah, it's a little, little bit of stutter. Like, I mean, it's it's a very occasional. Like, I prefer if there wasn't. <laughs> but I can live with it as well. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so water bad. Sounds like there's some emotional baggage nearby. I should try huh? to get that sorted. Didn't burn. Emotional baggage? Yeah, we only did this, so. We know what it's all about. Can you burn this? There's something behind it, so... Huh, how'd I get... Why can't I burn that for some reason? Wait, it activated for like a second. Oh, there we go. 
Weird, okay, that's... Hmm. No luck, what? <laughs> there we go. Uh, I believe you can replay the levels normally in, in, in this game, because you can go back and find all the figments in the last game, I believe, uh, afterwards. Because all of them are pretty hard to actually find, because there's so many of them. Uh, but, like, yeah, I don't know about this level, though. It's a tutorial level, but also there is stuff to find, so I don't know how that all works. But Anyway, I, I don't, you know, plan to 100% the game, but I would like to, you know, do as much as I can, obviously, because I quite like, <laughs> you know, the series. Uh, that's also the VR game, right? Like, yeah, there's a VR game, which I haven't played, but I don't know if it's on PSVR, which is what I own. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, there's a back up there. I don't know if I have the tag though. I need the purse tag here. Yeah. Where is that? I don't know. Uh could be around, right? I don't see anything though. Could be, you know, behind anything, like, the thing, like, I don't know why I didn't burn. Like, is it worth looking for right now? I mean, I don't, I don't know if it matters. Like, let, let me, let me see if there's a thing that looks kind of suspicious around. Like, any, any kind of, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Could be was maybe early in the level as well. I don't know how it all works. Wait, did I see something there for a second? Well, that's kind of red apparently. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Hmm. But feel like you put it pretty close, considering this is a tutorial level. Ah, okay, that was weird. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything that looks out of place or like... Yeah, I don't feel like I'm allowed to... Okay, I'm allowed, I just gotta get closer. I don't think those are gonna be it, that seems inconvenient. Um... I think I can destroy... Hmm... I don't know. I'm not seeing anything that looks destroyable. Or like... Am I blind? Is it up there? I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. Yeah. Oh well. I think I hear something. Didn't get it? No. Well, I don't know. It's fine. I'm gonna continue. Yeah, because I accidentally burned that the first time when I got here. So I missed that that bag was there. But it's too late to turn back now. Understand? What we have to do now is Finish the extraction! Lily, I think Lovato is starting to have doubts. Duh! They're right over there. Yeah, these things, yeah. Luckily, they're highly flammable! You take care <clears> of them <throat> while I find a way out, okay? So yeah, I'm at 30 minutes. Like I, I don't know how long it'll take to get back to where I was. Uh, I want to go a little further though. Like we still need a tutorial pretty much, and I got a little further than that I think. Like I don't know. Kind of hard to say what is the tutorial and what is you know just the game. 
it blends it, I guess. Like, for a tutorial level, this is, you know, pretty much just a level. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, definitely burning these guys is very helpful. Hey, Raz, doesn't this painting look familiar? Get away from me, you scary little girl! Think we should burn it? Oh, you haven't changed, have you? Come on, just tell us who hired you to kidnap my dad. Oh, this is really personal for you, isn't it? Oh. I don't know if they got all the voice settings back. I don't remember their voices that well. But uh maybe they did and I definitely feel like the uh the same. I, I don't know no. I don't know. Sterling? Nothing. Did you forget everything I taught you about levitation, Rasputin? No. Your thoughts can lift you up if you focus. Better hurry before we hit the ground. Mila is one of those characters that you might know even if you don't know the game, because that's a pretty famous thing uh, with her. I'm not gonna say anything about it, because, well, let's just say it's a lot. Now I'm getting a little closer to where I stopped playing, actually. But it's still not there. So yeah, you can levitate, or like, not levitate, but like, float, I guess, I don't know. Uh, what's that? Uh, you can't hang on to like this, that's good to know. I thought it's a spoon for a second, but I think it's one of those uh, uh, things that you put in the mouth and you can see better. What is it called? Uh, not a, it's not a microscope, it's uh, the opposite thing. You know what I mean, right? Whatever, you know. <laughs> It's a thingy. Let's just say it's a thingy. Alright, gonna get this tag. So, okay, that's the first. Okay, so. That's what I need to write before? So, okay, interesting. So, am I gonna get back now? I don't know. Like, hmm. I don't know how. Like, just get. Back. Hey. I got eight thingies there. I don't know what that is actually. What is that thing? There's no, there's no menu to look at things right now. I don't know if you'll get that later or something. No, no map. <laughs> I don't think there's map in this game, typically. Ow. Yeah, if you hold it for longer, it becomes a bigger. Uh, thing, so you can get more enemies, but it also means it charges for longer, so yeah, and you, and you can't, you know, if I do that I can't use it until it full, fills up, I'm clicking, you gotta make it fill all the way up, so kind of want to use smaller ones, but also that means again, you can't get an enemy, uh, I can't get more enemies than just one typically, it's a trade-off. Like there's some nuance to the combat it seems, like you can you can definitely see how this can be, you know, more entertaining than the last game where you just punched a bunch. I feel like there wasn't a whole lot to it, as far as I remember. My 
especially the land that was pretty bad, huh? I thought it was above that. There we go. Alright. Okay, so... Oh, okay. Mia, the mission is falling apart. We've lost control of Lobato. There's a little chaos on every mission, Raz. A psychonaut must always remember how to roll with it. You remember how to gather your thoughts and roll with them, right? Yeah, so you can do this. Let's make you move faster. But it's kind of a little awkward to control. Like, at least in this place. So, okay, so that's this thing here I saw when I got here the first time. And I don't know... Like, it seems like, yeah, you can't do everything right away. So you will come back to this at some point and do that. Because I don't know what these mean. They haven't taught me. So, like, assume it's something you come back for later. It's a little annoying. <laughs> you can't do it right away. But also, I mean, that's fine. It's optional, I guess. So, whatever. Yeah, so hazard, hazardous flaws like that, you can go over. You can do a jump. Uh, I, I missed a fragment. Uh, camera is being weird. Eh, awkward. It's a little difficult to, difficult to control this. This is... I don't know what's going on here. Whoa. Oh, I, oh, I was supposed to jump. Damn it! <laughs> Did that so well, and then I failed at the last moment. <laughs> I am surprised I got all the pickings there and everything. Ah, there we go. Yeah, you don't know what these these mean. Some kind of grappling hook, maybe or something eventually. I think she's been dementistrated. Whatever that means. You're actually like pretty close to where I stopped, actually. I guess I must have missed him out a lot more because it's only been like, yeah, 40 minutes. It took me like an hour before. But like, I'm pretty close. I want to see if I can get to some kind of conclusion though or something. Uh, it's kind of weird to just stop here, I feel. But like, it's like right around here I stopped, I think. So yeah, I feel like the game, you know, compared to the first game, there's a lot more... Um, detail as well, it's obviously. <laughs> it's been, you know, what, 15? No. When, did it, when did it first come out? Come out? Like, 2004 or 5 or something, I think, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I'm playing badly. Yeah. So I don't know if that's any use to rolling around in combat. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, what? What's going on there? Oh, okay, I was picking that up, that's fine. I thought I was stuck. Is it those, those things are health? Also, I got like uh, this. This heals you. Yeah, Cypops. Not sure if I didn't use it there, but whatever. Uh, I got one of them. Well, yeah, I used one of them. You can have three, apparently. But yeah, like, that's a lot more detail and like... I, at least in this tutorial level. Um, obviously, the first house that you want to show off, <laughs> I assume. Uh, yeah. Tricky. Uh, the game, the, the 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 feeling of the game is actually pretty good. Like it's like solid. Like it's like I remember the first game being a little bit awkward sometimes, but like this feels pretty good. Like it definitely improved a lot. It seems. It's, like, it may even be better than the first game, because uh, not everything in the first game was good, necessarily. There's definitely some hidden, hit and miss parts. Like, like, you know, a lot of people remember the, um, the Milkman level, and that's, you know, obviously a highlight in the game. But also, there's, like, some, eh, you know, fine things. Okay, yeah, n now I'm actually past where I got to. I haven't seen this. No, no, that's not it. Put the old box in the basket and the egg in the ocean. You put the egg in the basket and the old egg in the box and the box in the ocean. That's kind of creepy voice. If you tell anyone about me, anyone at all, 
You'll have to deal with her. No, not her. Please don't make me look at her again. No, no, I won't tell. I won't tell anyone. I promise. No, please. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, got pretty dark there. Well, hi. Oh, you're cool. And scary. <laughs> Jeez. Mysterious woman indeed. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, that might be a good spot to actually stop. We'll see what the next cutscene is like. Yeah, loading times. Okay, so I stopped like pretty much before the level ended, I think. That's funny. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, I'm glad I saw that <laughs> here, because that was kind of terrifying. Uh, uh, oh. Black screen? Okay, now it's back. Okay, that's kind of not good. I don't know what that was. I'm not sure if you saw that black screen or what. Uh, hopefully it's recording and everything. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> what? That Bonzo's brain was booby trapped. Yes, whoever hired Lobato to kidnap Truman knew he might be psychically interrogated. The poor thing looks terrified. Did anyone get a good look at his boss? I saw him, but I couldn't tell who he was. And I saw something else. I saw the thing that terrified Lobato. It was a woman. Dressed in black fur. She was floating over the ruins of a city, and she was commanding serpents of water. There was something familiar about her. Rasputin, hmm. I'm going to show you a picture. Water, eh? And you have that fear of water. I wanted to something now. Something Wait a connected. Second. I thought I recognized her. True Psychic Tales, issue 43. She's on the cover. Maligula. The deluge of Grulovia. Maligula? Mm. She's been dead for 20 years! Fort Crawler killed her himself! A battle from which he never truly recovered. She was a monster. A ruthless, power-hungry psychic who drowned hundreds of her own countrymen. Nevertheless, she still has her loyal followers to this day. This file <coughs> documents recent activity believed to be the work these modern-day delusionaries. What are they up to? Well, it's ridiculous, really. There's no scientific basis to... Necromancy. What? They're trying oh. to bring her back to life? It's silly, darling. But if they believe they can do it, they might do some dangerous things. Mia, have you considered the other disturbing fact in all of this? That unstable character could Maybe. never kidnap the grand head of the psychonauts without help? Yes. You mean there's a mole in the psychonauts? <coughs> you think this is a mole? You're dumber than you look. <laughs> Approaching the mother. It's a weird looking squirrel. <laughs> I don't know. Is that supposed to be a squirrel? I mean, the whole world of psychonauts is filled with weird. People and things and all kinds of things, so you know. Yeah. Still, some times where it's kind of iffy, it kind of lags and stutters. I don't know. Maybe I have to change it again. I don't know. I mean, it's not unacceptable, just a little annoying. Agent Forsyth. Why did you deny us intel when we hailed the Motherlode? What are you talking about, Agent Nine? We were on a mission to rescue the Grand Head of the Psychonauts. When we called for assistance... I never heard any call. Who did you talk to? Uh -oh. Is he alright? We won't know for sure until we get that squirrel tested for rabies. This is our kidnapper. Clearly, he had help on the inside. Impossible. <coughs> a mole in the Psychonauts? We have reason to believe delusionists are involved. 
and they're trying to bring back Maligula. What? I know. Isn't it great? The Psychonauts haven't had this kind of a threat in years. Can someone help me with my dad? What's with the fish? <laughs> Truman. Sure, that's a thing from the first game or something. I don't know. I don't remember at all why he has a giant fish with him. That's all. Let's get him inside so we can lie down. Yeah. I'll see what I can find out in my meditation chamber. I'm taking Lobato to my office for further interrogation. I'm gonna talk to Otto about our military options. Does that make anyone else a little nervous? Who are you? I'm Raz. Uh, Rasputin? I'm, uh, your newest psychonaut? How's that? Ford Kroger, he, he gave me a badge. I've been kinda helping out. <laughs> Listen, kid. Agent Crawler is a hero, but he's not operating at 100%. He can hand out all the merit badges he wants, but he doesn't have the authority to commission psychonauts. But you can, right? You're Hollis Foresight, lesser head of the psychonauts. True Psychic Tales 146. You and Truman fought the Noodler together. I prefer the title Second Head. If the other agents vouch for you, I might be able to get you a spot in the intern program. But don't be late for orientation. I hear the coordinator's a real brain buster. Welcome to the mother lobe. All right. I think I can stop here. It's all fine. I think it's, you know, auto saves and stuff. Yeah. All right. Pretty good first session now. Didn't take as long as I thought, actually. Uh, well, it's 47 minutes or so. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, wh what, what does that mean up there? 10 out of 100? Like, what is that thing? It's like a weird heart shape. I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, there's no... No uh, menu to look at things yet. I'm, I'm sure you'll give that later. You can only do this right now, as far as I can tell. Um, but yeah, um, def definitely solid so far, like, yeah, it's a little unfortunate that I chose to, uh, play it before, because I would like to play it, you know, uh, for the let's play, um, but yeah, I think it's, I think it's, you know, so far I'm really enjoying it, like, it's definitely, it's definitely a great tutorial level, like, a great first impression, <laughs> like, it's like, it's everything you want from a sequel, like, it's it's improving everything, you know, doing a bunch of new things, and like, uh, it's familiar too, like, it's, you know, it, it has similar moves, like, you know, the punches, and uh, and I think you also had the ball last, in the last game, I think so, and uh, at Telekinesis, yeah, uh, I forgot if you can shoot in the last game, uh, or, or use fire, I don't remember that being a thing, but probably was, and I just forgot. Uh, okay, Th this thing. Yeah, so that's a collectible, I guess. Huh, okay. Anyway, um, yeah, gonna continue this. Um, and, and again, I don't know what I'll do about Ageless and, and that game, like, if it's possible to fix it anyhow. Uh, but regardless, uh, you know, I'm gonna play this in the meanwhile, because I want to, and it's, you know... A game I've been looking forward to it anyway, so you know, yeah, you know, I typically don't play sequels to games unless I've already played the first game on the channel. Uh, it's it's rare I do that, um, but you know, I think you can mostly play this game without knowing the first game. You know, it, it does you know have a lot of exposition in 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 there in in the tutorial. You could tell, uh, but it's fine. You know. Most people probably haven't played the first game. It is a pretty niche and underrated game in a lot of ways. Uh, little eye animation there. That's fun. Um, but you know, uh, it's definitely a cult classic. It's definitely you know a, a game where the it has gotten more and more attention uh, as the years have gone on, which is nice because it is definitely you know a, a game that's worth checking out. You know. And uh, the sequel seems pretty good so far, you know. Uh, it's 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 fun. It's weird. It's strange. It's gameplay is solid. Uh, you know, it's a platformer action thing. I don't know what to really call it. 
little collective on too. Um, but yeah, uh, and it's got a weird, you know, it's got a plot. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, a lot going on right now, and I'm not entirely following it, but I'm trying to. Uh, also because, again, it, it does, you know, follow up from the last game, and I think that, you know, VR game, uh, Rumpus of Ruin or something, is that what it's called or something? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's Psychonauts 2, and uh, we will continue this next time. See you then.